How's it going, everyone? So, Grok 3 has been hyped for a long time, and it should be because it is being trained on probably the world's biggest AI training cluster called Colossus that consists of 100k NVIDIA H100 GPUs and is claimed to be worth about $10 billion. And if you take a look at interviews given by the likes of Sam Altman, then one thing you'll keep hearing is that scaling is all we need. If we train a model on an even bigger scale, then it will be the best and that it is the only gateway to AGI. OpenAI also recently announced Project Stargate, which is worth $500 billion, and it's just for the training and inference architecture. Now, all these claims were kind of shattered when DeepSeek released their V3 and R1 models that were claimed to be built on a budget of about $6 million. Now, these claims are getting a bit shattered because even after training Grok 3 on such a high-cost cluster, it's not as good as even DeepSeek R1. Now, these rumors started floating around in December because it was supposed to be released by December, which got delayed, and it was claimed that all this is because the model is not as good. Then, in January, Grok 3 was made live accidentally on the Grok web platform for a brief period, during which it performed better than the Grok 2 model. But the model was just not as good. It's not like soda or anything like that. It performed quite poorly in comparison to O3 Mini, DeepSeek R1. Now, it could be that it wasn't the best quantization or even the correct model. But then two models were made live on the LMSE's arena called Chocolate and Kiwi. Now, it is claimed that Chocolate is Grok 3 and Kiwi is Grok 3 Mini because the responses that people were getting from Grok 3 in the little windows when it was made live are similar to those of Chocolate. And again, the Chocolate model is not as good at all, and Kiwi is not good either. Now, it may be that these models are not Grok, but the chances are quite low. But then came the final nail in the coffin, because an employee of Grok or XAI themselves posted a tweet with a ranking of models according to him, and he ranked the Grok three model below O1 and O3 Mini. He didn't rank DeepSeek, but you can say that R1 is pretty much like O3 Mini and better than O1. So, you can keep it above that as well. This means that Grok 3 is pretty bad. This guy was also fired from XAI after this tweet, which is pretty sad. But anyway, the model seems to be not as good at all. It is more of a generic AI model rather than anything extraordinary. Now, it is being said that they are working on a reasoning model that will also be released with it, which could make it at least comparable to O3. So, what does this mean? Well, I've been saying a lot in my previous discussions that scaling will never yield the best results. Because, if you see, the better recent models that we are getting are achieved primarily through the use of reasoning. Compute plays a part, but it's not the only factor. And if you see what made DeepSeek different, it is that they didn't have too much compute. So, they worked on a new way to make things possible. Whereas the current companies are just focusing on training more and more, which will not only cost them a lot, but ultimately would cost us. That's why you see DeepSeek providing models for inference at such a low cost, while other companies need to recover the training costs by making inference hellishly expensive. I don't think that Grok 3 will be as good, and it obviously wouldn't be open source. Grok 2 is pretty much bad. So, let's see how it performs. I'm waiting for the new DeepSeek releases while others can wait for Grok 3. Please subscribe to the channel and share your thoughts as well. I'll see you in the next video. Bye.